just accidentally changed you into the building. But we can't wait to meet you, so it's all good. And that was really disturbing. Sorry about that. that. Too. <laughs> I love you, and you are really, 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 really awesome, and you should make a video about the environment. I love you! You've heard of the Three Musketeers, Charlie's Angels, and the Powerpuff Girls. But tonight comes another dynamic trio that you better watch out for. The Asian American Association and hundreds of students have gathered here tonight to welcome back Wong Fu Productions. Now you guys are at the front of the line for Wong Fu Productions. How long have you guys been waiting here? I've been waiting since 3 p.m., so about three hours and going on four. Wow, okay, and what draws you to Wong Fu Productions? Why are you here so early and what makes you so excited to come and see them in person? I guess I'm really excited about the fact that there are, they are pioneers in their field. They're, you know, they're accelerate, they're uh, going beyond traditional cinematography borders and I really, I really respect that. As the doors of the science lecture hall opened, hundreds of students came rushing in to sit in front row to watch Wong Fu Productions show their brand new short films. Oh, those four guys, right? <laughs> <laughs> there's um, Phil, there's uh, Ted, there's that cutie Weston, <laughs> and the fourth guy, me. <laughs> I'm here with Laura, the person responsible for bringing Wong Fu Productions here to UC Davis. Now, we know that uh, Wong Fu Productions has come here before, two years ago. So what made you guys bring back Wong Fu Productions again this year? Um, this year, they brought up the idea to just have another event. Uh, just them as a solo act, because we know that they've grown popular since the last time they came. Because uh, two years ago, they actually were, um, they came as guests at the as the Triple A Film Festival, okay. but this year we uh, we felt that they could handle a solo act. Well, and I think you're correct because uh, you sold out this whole crowd today. Congratulations! So, how many people was that? Four hundred eighty. Oh, 480 yes. packing science lecture hall, and it's not for a science lecture or anything. It's for <laughs> Wong Fu Productions. Yes. I'm sitting with one of the coolest trios ever, uh, Wesley, Ted, and Philip from Wong Fu Productions. Welcome back to UC Davis. Yeah. You're showing brand new short films tonight. Could you tell us a little bit about them? We're showing um, a few new things. Uh, the most notable is our uh, music video with David Choi, okay. and he's a very popular YouTube singer, songwriter, and musician in general. And uh, we did his first music video, so that's, or I guess, the main event. And then on top of that, we have um, some additional, I guess, footage, short, short footage um, from our recent piece, uh, Up in the Club, which is like a comedy sketch piece. Question, yeah. what is the, has been the most embarrassing thing that has happened while filming? Oh, man. Do I remember? I feel like my, my mind must have purposely blocked it out. <laughs> I remember we were shooting uh, the music video for Dance Like Michael Jackson and there was a girl in there that had to like dance like sexily or whatever. <laughs> and uh, someone had a teacher so I had to I had to go up and kind of show her what we what we needed and all the far east moving guys were just He was he was doing the the, the <laughs> I don't know sexy dance. <laughs> doing, sexy dance. Yeah. Can, can we see a little bit of that now? No. no? <laughs> Maybe not. If you want, if you want. Now you guys gotten um, to collaborate with a lot of cool artists such as Far East Movement and Magnetic North. What do you look for when, in terms of who do you collaborate with? Well, we, yeah, we've been very lucky that we've been able to work with so many great people, also like David Choi, uh, Quest Dance Crew, uh, Jennifer Chung, a, a lot of great people. And um, I guess what we look for, I mean, we don't really like scout anyone out. It's, a, it's actually a very good community of um, Asian American artists that uh, we kind of recognize and rec respect each other. Um, and we're just like, I mean, Good people, you know, fun to work with, and, you know, of course there has to be, you know, they have to have that, you know, X factor of, you know, either they have, like, some special kind of appeal or something, and we're always just, we're always down to work with new people. And who is your dream collaboration? Do you have a certain group that you want um, to work with in the future? Kanye West. <laughs> <laughs> Kanye West. Actually, uh, um, we were hoping that Kevin Wu, mm -hmm. Kev Jumba, would be able to make it tonight, oh. um, but he wasn't able to, but he knew about the event, but... Um, that's something that I was looking forward to tonight, but I guess uh, another time. As Asian American filmmakers, do you feel the pressure to portray Asians in a certain way? Um, more so now. Um, in the beginning, we were just kind of doing it for fun. Mm. And I think that was pretty well, like, 
that was known that we were just doing it for fun. But now people are being beginning to have expectations and putting like a responsibility on us, mm -hmm. and we recognize it, and we're very, you know, thankful and grateful to be in this spot, to be able to um, be the voice of so many people or inspire so many people. But at the same time, yeah, we feel like there is some pressure on how we. Um, I guess how we write our characters, how we want them to act, and um, we're showing people as they truly are, and not, uh, you know, not stereotypically as you know, kung fu fighters or or stuff like that. But at the same time, they're not like, you know, righteous activists either. Mm -hmm. So maybe in the future, but I don't know. So what keeps you guys motivated to do what you do? Can I have Ted answer that? Oh. What keeps us motivated? Um, a lot of the times when we have events like this, the fans say, the, fan, the fans come up to us, our supporters come up to us and say, we're their inspiration, like we inspire them. But I think that because they, they actually inspire us um, from their amazing support and that, that keeps us going. We, we wouldn't really be anywhere if it wasn't for just all the fans that we have like around the world. Um, we've, we've gone to like over 50 schools in, United, in North America and, and uh, you know, we, we get, you know, millions of hits and stuff. But and that, that's, you know, every person really counts, you know. And so um, what keeps us going is knowing that, you know, a lot of people are watching and a lot of people are like take notice and care about what we're doing. And that's, that's really what, what it is, yeah. Also knowing that there's so much talent out there, like you said, the collab collaborations that we did. Um, knowing that there's so many talented people, it's like they deserve a chance to be seen. And we'll use, you know, what we've learned in our skills and abilities and our reach to um, help them out. We help each other. Aww, well, thank you so much for coming out tonight and interviewing with us. And I hope to see you all on the big screen one of these days. Thank, <laughs> thank you. you. Thanks so much. For more information about Wong Fu Productions, check out their website wongfuproductions.com and keep your eyes and ears open for them in theaters near you. Reporting from the Science Lecture Hall, this has been Nikki Sun, AGTV. Woo! You guys are the best and I love you! You! I love you. No, but really, I really do. Thanks.